in the mid-1960s, Howard P. Ruffward, a scientist in America, did a study on animals that revolved around the idea that the parts of the brain of the animals um, that, was res that were responsible for social behavior and interactions with other animals of that sort um, were impacted and grown by REM sleep. REM sleep is basically the, the deep sleep phase where your whole body except your lungs, your heart and your eyes are paralyzed. And basically your eyes move during that phase and it's not important to know what REM sleep is. It's basically for the sort of bro science explanation for this is it is the deepest form of sleep and as it turns out, it develops the brain. So it repairs and builds brain uh, mass basically. And after sleep depriving the animals, or not sleep depriving, but depriving them of, of REM sleep with noises and things going on in the rooms where the animals were kept to sleep, he sleep deprived them for only a week. And within a week, they even saw um, like big detrimental effects to their social behavior. Now, the same thing happens with humans, right? And if you look at the world around us, it is true. Look at the LGBTQI or whatever the fuck you call that shit. Look at that. It's basically just unnormal social behavior, if you want to call it like that. It's people or humans not behaving as they are supposed to behave. And I don't think this in the span of the last... 100 years, 200 years, 300 years, not on not on societal level, um, normal behavior, but on a human level. Basic behavior like not um, cutting your child's dick off and feeding them fucking estrogen to make him a girl. Um, that's basic human um, evolutionary thinking. Uh, that you might think you can't really get wrong, but these people are getting it wrong, and it's all because of sleep. You might think, but I sleep well, and my LGBTQ gay trans friend also sleeps well. He says he lays down and immediately his eyes are closed and he's gone. KO. I might argue with that. Now, your friend is REM sleep deprived and you can be REM sleep deprived without actually knowing it and without being sleep deprived at all. You can get 10 hours of sleep and only get 10 minutes or even less, even no REM sleep because of the thing I'm about to tell you. You see, there are two parts of your brain that we're going to look at and it's basically for the bro science version of this, I'll simple it down. It's the old brain of yours and the new brain. The new brain is the brain uh, structures that understand technology that you need um, as a programmer or to use AI or to understand that you're not having sex, but that you are watching porn. And here it comes. During your day, you're hyper stimulating yourself with dopaminergic things right you you are watching fucking videos all day long you're watching porn you're playing video games you're doing whatever and whatever isn't real that you're doing makes your REM sleep worse because the old part of your brain thinks that everything you see is real and that it's really happening to you so if you watch a call of duty let's play or if you played yourself, uh, which is more realistic. So Call of Duty Let's Plays, when someone else plays and you're watching him play, is not as bad as playing it yourself because you kind of understand, okay, this is someone else. This is not me doing it. And it's then easier for your brain to recover from that. But if you're doing it yourself, then your old brain gets switched on and it thinks, okay, we are at war. And then your new brain says, no, we're not at war. We're simply playing Call of Duty. This is not war. But your old brain says, release dopamine, release this hormone, release cortisol, release these stress hormones. And then when you try to go to sleep, you can't. 
because you've got all these hormones in your system that you would have in a war type scenario. Now, when you're watching porn, it's even worse. Because then your old brain thinks, oh yeah, I just fucked five women today. Your new brain says, yo, this guy just watched five porn movies. Your old brain says, no, he's a chad. We need to award him with dopamine. And your new brain says, no, he's a chump. He just watched porn five times a day. And this new brain is the brain you consciously can hear. This is the reason you can understand complex stuff. And it's not just subconscious uh, understanding of that. So you only hear the bad side. You only hear the modern side because the other side is only in the background. The other side is, is your ancestor's subconscious brain. And you can only hear the, the, the side of your brain that says, no, this guy is a loser. But it's not wanting, it, it doesn't want to detriment you. It just argues with the old type of brain because the old type of brain is mostly responsible for releasing hormones. And it wants to shut this hormone thing down because your new brain understands, okay, now we have to sleep. Because this guy has to get up at 6 a.m. to go to fucking school and repeat the whole thing over again. So it wants to shut the old brain, essentially wants to shut it down or wants to convince it to shut down the, 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 the dopamine and the cholesterol and all these stress hormones. And it argues with it the whole night long. And imagine your parents arguing in your room or next room or somewhere else. Could you sleep well? No. And now imagine your parents arguing inside your own head. How well could you sleep? Not at all. You could maybe get your, be, be unconscious or something, but you will not have deep sleep. Because your brain is arguing. It cannot wind down. You cannot, you can't be in an argument with someone else and just in the middle of the argument say, oh, wait, I need my, I need my REM sleep. Let me, let me sleep. What, what did you say? What did you say? No, it's not going to work like this. And if you don't get your REM sleep, which stems from unnatural behavior, which makes your old and new brain argue, from that then, your brain will not develop anymore because it's not getting enough REM sleep. You see, every single day you're using your brain and you're overusing it. If you don't know exactly how it works and if you aren't a master in biohacking and not even me understand this correctly. There are scientists who have worked on this shit for 20 years and they don't even get it fully. So you don't get your brain fully. So you're overusing your brain every single day. And during the night, you are repairing your brain and maybe building a little bit of it up again. The reason or one of the reasons why the, the brains of toddlers grow so far, uh, grow, grow so fast or are supposed to grow that fast is because they're not overusing your their brain they're sleeping a lot they're only laying around and, and that doesn't mean you should do that it only means that they are not overusing their brain this is why their brain grows so much because their brain doesn't need to recover it, that their brain can fully focus on building up imagine this your muscles don't have to recover it's basically like taking steroids you would build a lot of muscles just from eliminating the recovery phase. You could train eight hours full body every single day and you would build muscles faster than the noob who has to recover three to five days. And you cannot build muscle until you have fully recovered, right? This is why you need a rest day or two a week and why you need to do active recovery and stretching and foam rolling and sauna and all these recovery protocols are there so you can build muscle. It's the same thing with your brain. If your brain isn't recovered from REM sleep, it detriments. If you train on top of having sore muscles, your muscles shrink. But if you overuse an overused brain, it also is going to literally degenerate. This is why we call people who are frankly just NPCs and low level, we call them degenerates because their brain is literally degenerated. Their brain can't understand that it is not normal to cut a young boy's dick off because he wore a dress once. And because they don't understand this, and because this happens with so many people, because think of someone who doesn't like put his phone on once, who doesn't make his brain argue once. 
This is why I do all of my YouTube work mostly in the morning. Because it's unnatural. My brain is going to think, oh, what the fuck? He's putting together an image of him with like a green background. This isn't real. And the new brain is going to argue with the old brain. So don't. This, this is not to say don't work at all in the evening. You're not going to not be able to do REM sleep in the evening when you edit a little bit. But it is going to be worse. So do as much work as you can in the morning. And in the evening, do the good, natural things. Read a book. Um, journal a little bit. Do real things that don't make your old brain and your new brain argue. Think about the thing. And, and to optimize this, I'll tell you a protocol right now. Think about a thing you do. Video games. What is it telling your old brain? We are at war. We need testosterone. We need cholesterol. We need, we need fucking cortisol. We need adrenaline. What is it telling your new brain? We're playing Call of Duty right now. We're playing video games. We don't need these things. Shut the fuck up. We need them. We're at war. No, we don't need them. We are not at war. We are playing a video game. This guy is a chump. No, no way. He just killed 15 people and achieved a fucking kill streak. And now he's, now he's an, an airplane and now he's shooting down on Earth. So now he's a different guy. And what the fuck? No, this is just a video game. You don't understand it. You're too stupid. No, it's not. It's real life. We're at war. Same thing with porn. Oh yeah, we just fucked five women. We just achieved the ultimate masculine purpose of reproduction. No, we didn't. This guy just stroked off to porn. It's, it's being a beta. It's actually preventing him from being masculine. No, he's so masculine. He just fucked five women. And this is the argument your brain will have in the night. And this is why your brain doesn't build up itself anymore. Because it's busy recovering from the shit you did today it will not be able to sleep tonight. This is all about instant and delayed gratification. Try it out for a week if you don't trust me and your behavior will change. Your thought patterns will be better and this is how dopamine detox essentially works. This is how self-improvement in general works. This is why reading actually makes you smarter. Not because of the fucking learnings you get from the book. No, because you simply replace a bad habit with it. You replace video games with reading and it does what it's supposed to do. You play video games and read and it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. You play, you, you read in the morning and play video games in the evening, you're still going to have a messed up sleep. If you want to do degenerate things, do them in the morning. And then don't do them in the morning because in the morning you don't deserve them because you don't have done any work. So the quick thing of this video is don't do degenerate things because they will literally destroy your fucking brain and if you do them do something natural afterwards to let your brain recover from it and don't do it directly before sleep master your mind